all right perfect guys so what is going on we are here week seven one week away from the bye week so it's a very very important week we do have a decision on whether or not we want to bring back trevor lawrence so as i go through if we i don't think we should bring him back early um especially for i don't think so man but i don't know i don't know i'll let you guys let um leave your feedback in the chat real quick before we hop into the game but we'll take a look at the standings man we are one and five uh, for our division in the nfc i mean the afc north you have the cleveland browns at three and three the Bengals three and three the ravens two and four so even though we are one and five you know we we have a chance we have a chance man so uh, we'll see what happens as for the raiders they have the fourth best record in the league so it's going to be a tough one man they they're going to throw the ball a lot they're very effective throwing the ball they have two really good wide receivers or three really good wide receivers um let's go through quickly just to look at his team stats man you see we threw what 16 interceptions so far this season um, for us, which isn't the greatest. You look at Derek Carr, eight touchdowns, 22 interceptions. Um, they have a great... Remember, in, in this franchise, guys, a lot of interceptions are going to be thrown. So, 22 still a lot, but we'll see what happens, man. Um, depends on the chance of, the, of injury. Yes, we'll look at that in a second. He has two running backs in Kareem Hunt and Josh Jacobs, um, leading receivers to Marion Terry. Uh, so, we'll look at the roster sorry i'm trying to get this done pretty quick i don't want to hold them up too much longer but we'll definitely take a look at their roster and then we'll go from there i think we're gonna, we're gonna stick with ian book ah i don't know man i think that's where we what we might do so Derek carr 82 overall is their starting quarterback um felipe franks is the backup you have josh jacobs uh they have kareem hunt oh he is injured so we don't have to worry about kareem hunt um this this week so that's good they have josh jacobs then and then Jalen richard so we don't have to worry about them too much wide receiver you have antonio brown pre crazy ab uh to marion terry with that 94 speed shy smith with the 94 speed um you know our cornerbacks are not the fastest guys in the world man tyler higby at tight end left tackle you have a good one good left guard a, a great center so the offensive line is pretty good definitely pretty good man cleveland farrell 85 overall you have charles snowdown i want to say he was a linebacker last year i think he moved him to defensive end um only 230 that could definitely make sense <laughs> so we'll see what happens maurice hurst 85 overall big cats bryant Ooh, they moved him from um end to uh, left outside linebacker nicholas morrow merlin robertson um yeah three pretty or four really decent cornerbacks jonathan abram and carl joseph so really 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 good team man um i think if you count preseason i want to say we are one and one and three we played four times we are one and three against the raiders go raiders definitely not hd man you can get out of here with that bro. all right so trevor lawrence high chance of, of injury um his injury rating will be a 79 so i i think we don't risk that um <laughs> we don't risk that but it's good because we'll go with ian book again hopefully we don't go one to six if we do you know we, we hope we get some help in our division with losses man but we should have trevor lawrence when we come back from the bye week so that is definitely a good thing and they're tired of this losing streak so justin houston um wants to come figure out what's going on man we might need help with our secondary so we'll take the morale there play t law man nope we're not going to yes i agree with you guys we're going to keep him on the bench for at least one more week and we should be good to go it's not bad we get two yards we'll take that What a route by Juju, man. Here we go, Tevin. Get out of bounds, bro. It's cool. What is the favorite franchise I have done? Ah, man. I've done a couple of, of pretty cool. I will say maybe the, the Ravens. I want to say it was Madden 17. 
We'll just see with the schedule and all that stuff. All right, so we threw that one away, man. There we go. We got the first down, man. He will take that big pickup. First down. Man, let's go, man. And, wow. That was a terrible throw, man. I thought he was going to throw it up. I was trying to give my guy a chance one-on-one. -on -one. There we go, man. Good sack, bud. We go third and 18. Oh, let's go, man. Devin Bush, way to make that play on the ball. Is he going to Oh, he's going to catch that for a second. Man, he got me again, man. All right, so second pick that we've thrown. There's a pick. Let's go, man. Sean Davis getting the interception in the end zone, baby. Let's go. There we go, Grant. There we go, man. There we go. And he stayed in bounds. Let's go, baby. Grant Calcaterra, man. Dang it, man. We're just throwing picks all over the place right now. Yo, can he make that? Th I knew he probably couldn't, man. He was just so open. Now nah, they got us, man. Damn, man, what a throw. That was me. I had that zone. Here we go, Grants, man. Good catch. There we go. Get the first down there, man. There we go. Oh. Bro, how do you not catch that? I, bro, me and James Washington have a very, I wouldn't even say love-hate relationship. Most of the time, he's just getting on my nerves. But you got to catch that, bro. Slow release, man. Look, definitely in the good look, man. This is his last game, bro. We have Trevor Lawrence next game. What a throw. I seen that Xavier Rose couldn't stick with him, man. That's the 94 speed, but. What a block. Great blocking. Wow, we got beat again, man. We get beat deep. Like it's like it's cool, man. Catch that man. There we go. But when he comes back, man, with that 85 speed and, and the way he could throw it, we could test people deep. I'm um I'm excited, man. It's a flag, man. How do you hold that quick? With 
85 speed, he could get escape artists. He's a superstar, so we'll see what he what he ends up getting, man. Hey, man, he couldn't get rid of that. All right, so I mean, we get on the board, but we still need to do something. There we go, Coleman. There we go, man. Down to 31, and Coleman gets hurt. I just said he's. I love Coleman as long as he doesn't get hurt. And then he goes down. Flag holding again. High ankle sprain. He'll be back. Oh wow. Yo, that was that was my fault, man. I did not see I did not see him. I thought he ran with the other guy. Xavier Rhodes, he's not wow, what a catch, man. They've been getting cooked by these guys all day. That's not his end of Tom Brady. At all. Great. Came through one touch. Oh, what a move. He's gone, man. Wow. When the rains it pours. When the rains it pours. Well, that was a pretty good punt. You got it right where he either go down the sideline or cut back in. Or probably. That was a bad throw. I mean, I know he got hit when he threw it, but nobody's throwing it accurately today. Um, he's currently our fourth guy. We will uh, try to tackle him. We will um, at some point throw him out there, man. But we'll... Wow. Way to, <laughs> way to tackle him to get the first down, man. Well, he's in there. What a touchdown run, man. Jacobs was not, he was not going to get stopped there. USC got some recruit felt that um, is as possible. Catch it, James Washington. <laughs> James Washington can't catch anything, bro. After this, uh, there we go. Touchdown! Finally, we score. <laughs> All right, man. So let's take a look at the stats from this absolute beatdown, man. Forty-nine to ten. They got three twenty-one offense. We got two ninety-seven. We lost the turnover battle by five, man. By five. Um, Ian Book threw five picks. Mason Rudolph, he threw one. He was eight for ten. Definitely a lot better, but like I said, we should get um, Trevor Lawrence back, man. We should get him back next um, next game. Josh Jacobs, 14 for 78. Tevin Coleman, 13 for 56. Uh, it wasn't terrible, man. If you had Tevin Coleman in fantasy, um, which they do do in this league, man, they do have like a fantasy league around these players. Not bad. He still got nine catches, <laughs> 79 yards. Grant Calcaterra, six for 98. Juju only had four catches, four for 41. Should note first game back. Only had one for 16, man. I don't think nobody got tackled. Um, but, I mean, all the passes were deep down the field. So, I mean, hard to get tackled when we're getting burnt deep. It was just one of those days, man, where we just did not have it at all. Take a look at the injuries. I don't think we got any more injuries. No, man. So we're just, it says three more weeks. This game, we're hoping the return for Trevor Lawrence is week nine against Baltimore. Worst case scenario, week 10 
against Minnesota. He should be back. Um, at this point, man, we need a, a miracle. Um, we play Cincinnati twice. Uh, we play Ravens one more time, but we're going to play them without a quarterback again. And then the Browns, we just need them to... So it shouldn't be that bad now. I know he got a small upgrade, 82 accuracy. Okay, it's not that bad. great. 81 mid. He just got plus three mid accuracy last week with his upgrade. But um, this is the guy, man. It's the guy, Trevor Lawrence, that we are waiting on. The 82 overall superstar dev. Um, after one game, should go to 83. His ratings are through the roof. And he has um, inside dead eye and pocket dead eye with 85 speed. This is the guy that we want back, man. Hopefully, hopefully he doesn't get hurt, man. Should have drafted Jacob Eason. We got, we got, we got Lawrence, man. This is the guy. This is the guy. This is the guy we're rolling with for the rest of this series, man. What is going on here? I don't, I don't know what that was. Hmm. That's convenient. And our um. And everything froze. So. That's probably a cue for me, man. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and get up out of here. I appreciate y'all for coming through the stream. Definitely do, man. Definitely do, man. I hope y'all have a good night. If you're watching this on the back end, please leave this video a like, man. It helps me out a lot. If you haven't subscribed, man, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe. Bringing you tons of Madden content, man. But it's your boy D. Lloyd. See y'all next time. Peace.